We're up here at the off-grid property and I went and picked up our sheathing we're going to put on the inside of the wall and Gina hasn't even seen it yet. I tried to, I tried to peek at it this morning. You had it all covered up. I know. <laughs> Wanted it to be a surprise. Ready? Yep. That looks nice. It's like an old antique barn board. Very nice. It looks so good. Looks like we had a little rabbit checking out the container yesterday. We came over here. Went that way. Some more bunny tracks. In our last video, we put up the ceiling sheathing and I went to turn the lights on to see what it looked like. And our battery pack was too cold because the day before it felt like it was negative 22 degrees out. So I brought the battery pack home last night. It's working now. Now we're going to try out to see how the lights look. So bright. It is. I took the paneling up. I know, it's going to totally change the look. Come on, it's cold in here. I was going to say, our first priority is getting the wood stove heated up. Get it warm in here. Chilly. run the panels this way we'll use four on this side if we run them this way we'll use four all right we gotta get our vent situation figured out first so we're gonna have to cut our pipes back Oh, I think they're too short. Nope, they're perfect. Uh, going to be two and thirteen. Can't write it on the floor. Two, thirteen.
guess you should have put the bread knife where I wouldn't see it. Guess I should have had it hidden from you so you didn't take it home. I think it just need to be hanging around. All right, I need to need to keep my stash hidden from you. I thought we were done. I thought you were done. power to those. Uh, the brake is not on to these outlets. No power. Just the lights. Just the lights have power. I think it looks really good that way, but how will it look if, when we have it on top of each other? Can you set it the other direction? your inch and a half. Is on now. It is attempt number two. Hopefully, we get it right this time. Uh, measuring from the top down. And it's the 12 and 7 eighths. Eighty-four and three quarter. 
I'll be able to use that one that I just cut wrong for scrap pieces where I need to cut off like the door and stuff so it's not going to waste and then 15 and then 8. Now that looks good. We can get the next cut. We can, now we can get the next sheet cut and put up. The first one always takes the longest because you want to make sure this one is up good and straight because if this one's off, all your other sheets are going to be off. So that looks good.
the last board up on this wall. Here. Feel the heat. Mm -hmm. It's gonna look so nice once we get this all trimmed out. That so good. What are we gonna do for trim? I think some weathered rough sawn lumber boards that we have at home. That look nice. Yeah. So now that it's warm out and everything is melting, we have some water running down the window here. Hit it the outside, I'll show you. And then it's kind of weeping in a little bit. I don't have these windows cocked yet, so it's running down from above and then down here and then dripping in here and going in. So I need to get the roof swept off so we can get the water off and then let it dry. And then we can caulk off the windows and seal it. Now that the temperatures are starting to get warmer, we can caulk our windows. And I don't want to put the inside paneling up on that wall until everything is weather tight because we don't want the paneling getting wet. That would not be good. So let's get up on the roof and see what's going on up there. Let's see what it's like. Oh, not bad. A little bit of water up here and snow. I'll get this all sweeped off so we can dry up today, then tomorrow we can caulk the windows and get them all sealed up. be dry by tomorrow we can come back and seal up those windows and then we won't have any more water leaking in on them if you get cold while you're up here you can just come over here and warm your hands up by the chimney stove is going good so it's helping melting all the ice on the inside too it's been building up throughout the winter so if we get that all dry we can seal them up tomorrow but that looks nice it's gonna look so good all trimmed out You don't want to do charge with us? It's too cold, ain't it? Who did put that big old snowball right there and just left it? I don't know who did that. Why would someone do who that? Who would do that? Who would do that? 
Who would do such a thing like that? <laughs> Olivia points at me. Oh, the chickens are coming out now. Seven, nice. All right, one in the barn. It'll be nice once all the snow melts. Then we'll have mud. Right. But when there's mud, we can go play in the greenhouse. Right. I'm getting excited. Yeah. Do you ever get those? Where are you guys going? Tanner! Down here, dude! Stay down here, guys! Come on! Did you get one? Yep. Nice. Mm. Hey, delicious. It's you getting in my that? mouth. I did. Not on purpose. For the dust. Ooh, three. Three? Three whole eggs. Three whole eggs. That's what we got the other day, too. They're picking up a little bit. Look at that sky. Holy oh, smokes. Not as pretty as you, though, babe. Oh, thanks. I'm ready to go and get a fire going. Free it's cold. Windy. Oh. Okay, you gremlins, go inside. I'm gonna make smashed potatoes tonight. I just boiled them and I just have them sitting in the strainer just cooling for a few minutes. While I'm letting them cool, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut any of this skin, the silver skin off of this uh, tenderloin. And I also think because it's so long, this one, I am going to um, cut it in half. But I want to just cook it all up. It says it's already dethawed. So the silver skin comes right off. And then this one on the other side has a lot. Because I wouldn't even probably bother with it. But this side has a lot of that silver skin. So I'm just going to cut that off of this. To get started, it comes right off. I am not an expert at taking this off. Al would probably be better at this process, but I'm never going to get better if I don't do it. So I just want to remove that so I can get really the seasoning to really go into the meat too. Plus who wants all that fat? And I could probably be using a better knife, but I started with this one, so I'm going to finish. We have my tenderloin uh, in the silver skin off as best as I'm going to get it, and I have it cut in half. I'm going to put it aside because I need to get my smashed potatoes. Okay. So 
hopefully they smash well. They're not super hot. It took a little bit longer doing my pork loin than I was hoping. Just gonna smash them. Like a pancake. I'm not gonna do garlic or anything. Um, just butter tonight. But you could do garlic or anything you like. You know it'd be really good, some bacon. The butter I'm using is salted, so I am just, I'm not gonna salt it. And then, so I'm just gonna let that go on and I'm just gonna lightly spray this with oil around it, just lightly. And I'm just gonna get them in the oven. They're, the oven is at 400. So I'm gonna put it in there and I'm not sure. I'm gonna set it for 10 minutes and check on it and then keep checking it every 10 minutes and see if it's how I want it to come out. wanting to brown them on each side. I might have my thing up too high here. And then I'm just going to pop it in the oven. I'm going to leave it at the 400 and just do like 10 minutes, check the temperature and then see if it needs to go longer. Dear Lord, the pork tenderloin was delicious. Even better knowing that you raised that right in your backyard and you know what went into it. But uh, the pork tenderloins are always good, but unfortunately, you only get two of them per pig. I wish we got more, but. It was good. Excited to get the paneling up in the cabin. It's gonna look nice once we have it all trimmed up. It's at the stage where you can start to see it transform, but it's not there yet. At least not in my eyes, it's not there yet because you don't have all the trim work done and cleaned up. But I'm looking forward to having it all done and our first time sleeping in the cabin. It's gonna be a blast. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. Subscribe while you're down there. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.